This video brought to you by Loot Crate. Go to trylootcrate.com slash halocanon and use promo code BRIDGE10 to save 10% on a new subscription. Stick around to the end for more details. Hey there, Cannon Knights. Welcome back for another Halo Legendary Crate unboxing. But before we do that, I want to talk about something ha happening in the Halo community, something I think is pretty important to take, to take note of, and that is the potential upcoming merger of Halopedia and Halo Nation. Now, ever since, it used to be there used to be only one Halo wiki, then Halopedia left the wiki us, um, site, I guess. I'm... Don't ask me too much <laughs> about too many of the details about how all that works. But when they left, that left a halo.wikia.com site behind. That's what that's Halo Nation now. So and since then there have been two Halo Wikis. This proposed merger would merge Halo Nation into Halopedia. It would bring on all their staff, all the, all their editors. Um, there's a bit of crossover, but there's also people that are too exclusive to one platform or the other. And just having a single Halo wiki is, would be so good for the community in so many ways. Um, there's a, they have a whole page dedicated to it and discussion, um, voting for people that are eligible. They have some pretty strict uh, voting guidelines or um, voting restrictions, I guess would be the uh, best term. Uh, you can go there. If you're eligible to vote, please do. If you can't, you can show your support, or if you don't support this, your uh, opposition, I think would be the best word. I'm not entirely sure, but you can show that your support or opposition um, through social media. Yeah. Let your voice be heard. Um, I'm personally all for this, as I think, as I previously said. Um, I'll, leave a, I'll leave a link in the description box that details everything. Uh, it's their main page about all this, but I'm really hoping it goes through because it would just, it would be such a great uh, boon to the wiki community out there. Uh, single source makes things a lot easier. No more debating over, oh, which one's better? Or what source, what page, what uh, wiki says what? And of course, the staff, in the, uh, the merging of the staff. So more editors overall. Anyway, though, take a look after this video. In the meantime, let's take a look. This theme, oh, by the way, this month's uh, theme is support following George 052, the only Spartan of, or Spartan 2 on mobile team. And it's a grid of reach, which is appropriate for George. But let's take a look at what's actually in here. Start out, of course, with this wonderful shirt. Of George with his chain gun, whose name I am currently drawing a blank on. Uh, maybe I'll put it on the screen, but it's some um, Hungarian name if memory serves. Uh, but awesome shirt. I actually really like that. Nice simple. Uh, oh, hey, it's even got his tat, his Spartan t uh, serial number on the collar. So that's pretty cool. And I like the color gray, of course. We, of course, we, of course, have the icon figure. We'll take a look at that later. Ooh, this is pretty cool. George 052's journal. Now, it's not a filled-in journal, sadly. That would be... God, that would be amazing. But... It's a pretty nice day planner, essentially, or journal, however you want to say that, put it. But UNSC, uh, UNSC logo, George 052 label there. Uh, it's nice. It's very nice. I like it. Oh, yes. George's, uh, hold on, let me see if I can... I'll remove the plastic quickly to see if that reduces the glare from my computer screen. I suppose I could just turn off, but whatever. The case is very nice too. There we go. 
So George 052s, I hope that's not too out of focus. George 052s uh, dog tag, which is pretty cool. I have, this, I have the uh, Master Chief dog tag that they sold years ago. Maybe I'll pull that out and do a comparison shot or something. Ooh, very nice. Uh, <clears throat> golden Scorpion and Golden Rocket Launcher, Spanker specifically, from the Great Schism. Interesting. It's one of the crates from last year, if I recall correctly. And once again, they fucked up with the posters. So now it's at this nice bend at the top. Jesus. Otherwise, the poster is pretty nice. I'll put up a full, I'll put up an image on screen, but you can kind of see it here. And of course, bottom of the bottom of the damn crate. And again, I wish they put this in something. Just give it a little protection. It's full of little bumps, and scrapes. But anyway, onto the actual content schematic of the or blueprint, whatever you want to, well, I guess it wouldn't be a schematic. Uh, readout would probably be the best because it's not really a blueprint either. Blue, um, <laughs> almost said again. Readout of the M808, M808C main battle tank, uh, or rather the main series of tanks that's been uh, in the game since about Halo 3, until Halo 5, of course, replaced it. And once again, I'm not really going to rant on it, it's just, it's not worth the energy. Brighter side though, George figure. And there we have it, nice and simple, George 0452, I almost said almost 042. Um, George 042, God, I cannot speak right now. Very nice detail, uh, yeah, and not much else to say, it's just, it's really, it's a really good figure. Captures all the details of George. Color, use of colors pretty, or the color choices are really nice. Match up pretty well to the game and, uh, of course, love the machine gun. So, yeah. And there you have it. This month, um, yeah, it's still January. So this month's crate, uh, George 052 support. Uh, I love this shirt. It's a simple design, but I absolutely love it. Um, cool to get two pins this time around. I actually don't remember what I got for the original Great Schism one, so, eh. Uh, George, George's, uh, dog tags are very nice. I love the journal. Posters, it's good art. I'm just disappointed how it was packaged. The icon figure, of course, is, is always great, so. And the Intel sucks. So, overall, decent crate, especially, at least in terms of, uh, just stuff it feels appropriately george not to say that uh previous ones didn't feel appropriate to their characters minus carter that one was just weird but um well yeah this is the third crate of the year so <laughs> two out of three not too bad uh at least in terms of items scout was good leadership was odd this one's really good i, I really like this one in terms of uh again content i don't know why i keep specifying i'm sorry <laughs> I have a bad tendency of over explaining things in real life, and here I go again. But yeah, overall, enjoy this crate. Next month's theme is called Tech and appropriately revolves around Cat 320. Sorry, Cat B320. Um, not much else to say at this point. Uh, hopefully, they, hopefully, they stick on a roll in terms of the physical content. So, here's hoping for that. Uh, and I guess that's it for now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know what you think about the this loot crate, this series of loot crates in the comments below. Um, and of course, be sure to check out that Halopedia link I mentioned at the start of the video. Uh, it's a big thing happening. It could be a big thing for our community. It's something I feel definitely needs to happen and is long overdue. So I'm, I'm really cheering for Halo Nation and Halopedia to come together so but yeah once again let me know what you think about all that in the comments below be sure to check it out and uh until next time this has been halo cannon
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, consider a Loot Crate subscription for yourself. By going to trylootcrate.com slash halocanon and using the promo code BRIDGE10, you can save 10% on a new subscription to the base crate offering. Loot Crate is a monthly subscription box service for epic geek and gamer items and pop culture gear.